Learning new details tonight about a man accused of breaking into a Tulsa home and falling asleep during the attempted burglary. A woman checking on her mother's house found Neil Birch sleeping in a closet. Two Works For You reporter Brian Miller has been digging into the man's checkered past. And Brian, interesting what you found out. Yeah, well, I discovered Birch was actually convicted of hiding stolen property a couple of years ago, and he's also a registered sex offender. He's convicted for exposing himself to a woman in a Walmart parking lot. It was October of 2013 in this Walmart parking lot in Wagner when Kelly Bussell had a run-in with Neil Birch she'll never forget. I was walking out to my car and then I started putting my groceries in and this car whips up really close to me so I was like and then I noticed it's a kid and he kind of had this you know odd look on his face like he was lost or something so I kind of leaned over and then uh, Noticed, looked down and noticed he was masturbating. Birch was 17 when he was charged with indecent exposure and sexual battery. Bustle was one of two women who testified against Birch during his trial. But I was just thinking today, I wonder how he's doing. I wonder if he's out of jail. And then <laughs> there he was on the internet. And I was like, there he is. Birch's most recent run in with police happened here when officers say a woman checking out her mom's house found the house ransacked and discovered Birch sleeping in a closet. Police arrested him, then took him to the hospital for a possible drug overdose on stolen prescription pills. Right before we were fixing to put him in the car, he broke and ran and uh, slipped one of his handcuffs. And I chased him down, caught him in the parking lot, tackled him, and uh, there was a, a, a struggle for a little while while he was trying to kick and get away from us, but we were able to put him back into handcuffs. Officer Elliott has advice for victims of similar crimes. If they feel like somebody has been in their home, is to stop their investigation, quit looking on their own, get out of the house, dial 911. Bustle also has advice for women. Just please be aware of your surroundings. You know, just it's a scary world we live in now. And in addition to those newest charges, Birch is also being held on four misdemeanor warrants from another case. Now, he could also be a suspect, police say, in a, ring, a string of recent burglaries in Tulsa. Reporting live tonight, Brian Miller, Two Works For You.